Hi, I'm Al, and on today's Summit Racing Quick Flicks, we're going to go over two things. First, I'm going to show you how to properly identify the U-joint that's in your vehicle. And the other part is I'm going to show you how to measure for a custom length drive shaft. Let's cover U-joints first. Now there's two different types. Your two basic types are an outside lock and an inside lock. On an outside lock, what happens is that there's these snap rings and when you put the U-joint in the yoke, you put the snap rings on it and then the snap rings keep the caps inside of the yoke. Now on an inside lock, there's grooves in the caps and you put a ring in the caps and when you assemble it all together, the ring prevents the caps from flying out of the yoke. So now that you've figured out whether you have an inside or an outside locking U-joint, there's unique ways to measure each one. For an outside locking U-joint, you're going to go ahead and measure from outside to outside, the total width from cap end to cap end. So for a 1210 series U-joint, that's going to be 2 and 7 16 inches across. For a 1310 series U-joint, that's going to be 3 and 7 30 seconds inches across. For a 1330 series, it's approximately 3 and 5 eighths inches across. If you have a set of digital calipers, you can get the more precise number. It's about 3.622 inches across from end cap to end cap. And that's the same size for a 1350, uh, again, approximately 3 and 5 eighths inches across. So how do you tell if you have a 1330 or a 1350 size U-joint? Well, what you can do is then you measure the width of the cap and for a 1330 size cap, it's going to be an 1 inch and 1 and 1 16th of an inch width. For a 1350 size U-joint, it's going to be 1 and 3 16ths of an inch wide. Now what if you have an inside locking U-joint? That you're going to measure from groove to groove, not outside to outside, groove to groove. And, and you're going to get the following measurements for a 3RL or a S44 GM type. It's going to be 2 and 9 16 inches from groove to groove. For a 7260, uh, the Dodge, it's going to be 2 and an eighth. And then for the 7290, it's going to be 2 and 5 eighths inches from groove to groove. Now that you've identified which U joint is right for your vehicle, you can go ahead to summitracing.com, go ahead, navigate to the U-joint section, and pick out the one for your vehicle. Now for that second bit that I promised you, how to measure for a custom link drive shaft. Now you're going to need two items, a straight edge of some sort, and a tape measure. Now the first measurement is going to be from your transmission output shaft seal to the front edge of your yoke. You don't want to be measuring the pinion at all, you're measuring to the front edge of this yoke. So go ahead and you're going to get that measurement and you're going to write that down. The next measurement is you need to know how far out the transmission output shaft protrudes out of the transmission case. So you're going to go ahead and line your straight edge up with your output shaft and from the seal again to that straight edge, you're going to get that measurement. You're going to go ahead, write those down, and then you can go ahead, give us a call, and we can get that custom length drive shaft on order for you. Now, if you have any other questions about U joints, drive shafts, transmissions, engines, any of that, please feel free to leave a question in the comments section below. Make sure you hit subscribe to stay up to date on our latest Quick Flicks videos, and be sure to watch our other videos. Thanks for watching.